Hello everyone. We're in Tokyo. Come on in. Yeah. Look at that. So we landed yesterday. We flew in from Sydney because I had a show for Fashion Week and we just had to fly out of Sydney because it was a direct flight. And we're here with Jean-Paul Gaultier, which like, if you know, you know. That's actually making me feel a bit sick saying it. Um, yeah, so we are here for three days and then we're extending the trip. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the trip with Jean-Paul Gaultier, but then after obviously me and V are like here for, it's pretty much a week, hey? We'll obviously show you heaps of our trip and we'll go exploring because we're on a pretty tight schedule for the next three days, but we're here for the Fashion Freak Show. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It looks so fucking cool. Um, last night we went to a little traditional dinner. So cool, we like cooked our own food. So we're here with five, well there's actually global talent as well, but the bulk of it is from Australia. Mm. And so there's like five um, like influencers, content creators, and everyone is really cool and we're having so much fun. We've only been here for one night and we went out for dinner last night, like I just said. But today we're jam-packed, we're about to go down and get breakfast and then we've got a fitting and then we've got like a day of exploring. Is this and the one off the crossing? We'll go to the, yeah, we're the going to busy... Shibuya yeah. Crossing! Yeah. That's today. And then we've got a dinner and karaoke tonight. Anyway, we'll take you along with us. Our hotel is really cool. If you've watched my LA vlog, the edition hotel that we were obsessed with that we yeah, stayed at second. The best chain. This is the Tokyo edition. So it's amazing. It's just like real aesthetic. It's got its own smell, eh? Yeah, they use a fragrance, I reckon, in all of them. Mm. So yeah, we're very excited. Can't actually believe we're in Japan. We're in Japan, we're in Tokyo. Wild. Gonna meet Jean Paul. Yeah, don't. I'm literally. I feel. It doesn't feel real. You look good. Thank you. This is. They're both skims, actually. We've got a, like a fitting this morning, eh? Yeah. So and yeah. To be comfy. Yeah. Breakfast and then the fitting. Also, our room. Like, look at this spectacle. So, this is our itinerary. Why am I saying itinerary weird? Itinerary. Itinerary? Itinerary. Itinerary? I no, because there's two hours. Anyway, Itinerary. this is what we're doing for the trip. Last night when we got to the hotel, we had fragrance waiting for us. This is actually the rubbish, but V has this one and I have the So Scandal one, which is so nice. It's really fresh and like floral. This was waiting in the room for me. It is a Jean-Paul Gaultier dress, which I can't wait to wear, but it's just really hot in Tokyo. So I'm probably going to have to wear it when I'm home, but like the cutouts, it's this thick knit and like this part is real snatched in the middle, so that was such a nice surprise. I can't wait to wear that. We're feeling very spoiled already. Okay, so we're just in the fitting for our outfits, which we need to pick for today and tonight. So I've got a few pieces. This is from the new collection. I'm gonna try it on. This bodysuit. Yeah. Wow. So I'm gonna try it all on and see what I like and what I'm gonna wear. I just feel like this is one of those moments that is like a dream. I feel like I've dreamed of this. Like I haven't specifically dreamt of this, but it feels like it's like a vision board dream situation. Yeah. Like on movies where they go into it and they get, you, try on all these different things. Pick whatever you want and. I feel sick about it. I'm gonna cry, but I can't cry because I'm gonna get makeup all done. Outfits. Yeah. Okay. This is the first look. Obviously, I need to wear something else underneath, but like. Wow. This is everything. It's so comfy, too, actually. You have okay, this top. Wow. And then tie that properly, but I really like this. So nice. And I could even wear it with like cargoes or something. But there's also this, which is like printed on. I just need to wear. Something else at the back. Okay, this though. This is my favourite to so be honest. So we're bringing it with us and I'm gonna get pics in it. Fuck. And it's just be pulled down a bit on my boobs. This is iconic, to be honest. Shit. Okay, we're at the fish market, losing the group, so we've got to move. But I'm in this bodysuit and it's really cool. How are we feeling? 
Yeah. I'm just on a bit of a walk around the market. There's so many goodies that I want to try, but those people have much ice cream. But like, we just have to keep moving. Video? Yeah. yeah. Guys, look. Thank you. Okay, it's strawberry, peach, and pineapple and cream. It's not just a strawberry one, but we're going to try it together anyway. Here we go. The bread's so soft. What's happened? Did you make it at home? Those are really good. So yum. Guys, look at me. I'm in a traditional kimono. I couldn't film in there, but it was amazing. So they basically let you pick out a kimono and then they completely dress you. I can't really breathe because this thing is so tight, but it's worth it for the look. So we got to choose a bag. I chose, wow. well, I actually let them choose for me. I was like, you, you can choose. So they chose this one and then they choose a colored wrap and then a little flower. And I've got these little toe socks on and the shoes. Yeah, wow. shoe can. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, um, the tie at the back. Yeah, it's pretty, eh? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so yeah. cute. Yeah. Yeah. We're in this little sushi restaurant. And I'm really not sure how I'm going to get up from this position. <laughs> I've like lowered myself down into this spot. I can hardly breathe and I'm going to have to be rolled out of here actually. <laughs> but I'm very excited because the, what's the whole thing that like you have to find these little spots for the best sushi? How did you find this? We've got recommended it. That's the best spot, so always recommendations. Peter's over there for a chat with the sushi chef. The tea. Miso. Green tea. Oh, it's falling. Oh, the little Yummy. Wow. It's a tea ceremony experience. We're at the tea ceremony and we've been given a sweet. It's day, what's well, our second full day, but technically day three. It's our last day with JPG. Yeah, our last full day. Tomorrow we're with them till like lunchtime. But today is a big day. I've got a shoot. What's happened? I've got a shoot um, like this afternoon slash lunchtime and then we have the freak show tonight and the red carpet which we're so excited for. I get to meet Jean-Paul Gaultier which is literally like not even a once in a lifetime opportunity. So that's crazy and that's today. So we're about to head down for breakfast. It's a slow start this morning. Vet's already been to the gym. I chose to stay in bed. It's 10 o'clock. We're going to have some brekkie. And then we've got a like couple hours of free time. So I'm thinking a little 7 Eleven run might be good. And then, yeah, I'll just come back and then I've got my fitting, hair and makeup, and then a shoot for something cool. Which actually, the shoot won't be out until October, I think, in line with something launching, which I can't tell you about. But obviously, when it comes out, I will tell you and you'll see it because I'll be posting it. It's real random, but we've been waking up feeling, what's happening with my hair? I look all funny. Hung. Hung over. But like, we're not drinking. I think I it like, do you think it could be the sake? What, just like a sip of sake makes you hung no, over? Actually. Can't, that can't be right. Anyway, we're just, yeah, maybe it's like dehydration, because I'm not really like going toilet either. Yeah. Like we've kind of been out without water, do you reckon? We, yeah, we're just, we're not really sure. Um, why we're we feeling like this because there's not really a time difference like it's the same time but it's an hour difference from back home so yeah that's kind of random but I'm feeling a bit better this morning to be honest yeah. talk us through we are currently at breakfast <laughs> good evening and over to you <laughs> back to the studio 
we salmon. <laughs> we decided Fruit. we went for the blue room breakfast or something. That's more like a kind of set menu. And yeah, you get like pastries, fruit, little salad. It's got salmon on his. And then we picked a main as well. This looks yum. I've also got this juice. Grapefruit, kale and black pepper. Very healthy. It's really sour. So it's good for me. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is our first day slash night by ourselves. We've officially left the group. The trip ended this morning. Last night was so fun. Yep. We went to the Fashion Freak show. I'll insert some clips of it and also like what I wore because don't. Also, we met Jean-Paul Gaultier. He told me that oh. I, oh. if you've seen my stories, you'll know. He told me that I have a great shape. Was it great shape? And I look amazing and I should be in the show. And I asked Vita to like record little BTS. Look. So he's come up and said this to me. He's gone like, opened his arms and gone, wow, like yeah. that about what yeah, I look like. like that, like down your body. <laughs> like, it wasn't touching you, but it was like in front of you. And he was just like, wow, look at you. You should be in the show. Yeah. And I was like stoked. I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And then I realized I wasn't recording and then I just got this pain in my stomach. <laughs> and I was like, it's going to sound made up when I tell people. Then went to a really fun party, which I'll probably insert clips of as well. We hung out, or we like woke up fine this morning. Yeah, every other day we've been waking up feeling a bit hungover, even though we haven't been drinking. Last night, doing tequila shots. This morning, woke up fine. Something's happened, not sure. We've come to our new hotel. So we're staying in Ginza. This is called the Aloft, and honestly, the room's pretty big. And I can't remember paying like too much for it. I know that it was some really expensive hotels, and this was a cheaper one. It's owned by the same company as like the owners of the W Hotel. Oh, that's better. Not so blown out. Um, owned by the same owners as the W Hotel, so it's like real funky, same kind of like, you know, new vibes. So yeah, we are going to now go and explore. We want to go to this one shoe store. We're going to get something to eat, and then I think we're going to go to Bill's for dinner, which I've had in Sydney. It's real popular Wait, for well, breakfast. Yeah, there's one in Sydney. Oh. We're looking for shoes for a shoot, actually. Yeah. For... Our um, Remy winter shoot. These are the ones we're looking for down here. I can see yellow ones down the end shoes. So make sure we get the right shoes that are on the mood board. They're really cool. Oh, really cool. Mm. We've just seen three big Shiba Inu dogs and a baby one all walking together. <laughs> So apparently, I'm going to yeah. Them. Apparently, people love you when, patting their dogs. Yeah, but I'll ask first. Yeah. Always. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's getting belly rubs. He's getting belly he's rubs. Look, look at the little one. I'm crying. Oh my. She's so cute. Look at you. Give us your theory on this road. Like, look at it. Like, it's yeah. busy as shit. It's obviously a usable road. So we thought maybe it's Saturdays, maybe Sundays. They close it so that people can shop. Yeah. But that's just. That's like, our. That's our theory. Assumption. I reckon I'm gonna ask someone because it's real random. It's so cool though. Yeah, we're currently looking for a cafe. We just need dinner is soon. It's 5.15. We don't even know what time the shop's shut. We should probably Google that. We need a little but, mochi. Um, yeah, just a mochi, a little drink. And then 
we can keep shopping until dinner. Yeah. So far, Ginza is sick. Yeah, I'm loving Ginza. It's really nice. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. We are heading to get something to eat from the 7-Eleven. Vita also wants to look at this pancake place. And then we are going to Team Labs, which is this like big immersive lights water situation. If you know Infinity on the Gold Coast, it's meant to be kind of like that, but obviously like a million times better. Fit check. Oh yeah, my new shoes. Did I even show you one there? I need to give you like a shoe haul because I got new shoes. But yeah, let's see what we can find in the 7-Eleven. I'm thinking like some sort of bread breakfast situation or maybe the sandwich. Strawberries and cream sandwich. This one has peach and um, pineapple as well but it's so good so I'm getting that. I wonder if they all want one. All of this bread stuff is honestly so delicious as well like it's so fresh. I can't even explain to you how soft these are. I also found this like ch chocolate cream bun <laughs> and there are sausages. I heard the um, egg running hates us, but I heard the egg sandwich is really good. Grim. And then should we get coffee here or like go get a pop of coffee? Uh, coffee? Yes. Surely. Well, a protein jelly. You have to review. <laughs> so this is the sandwich. I can't even deal. Yum. It's so good. I need the fuck of this. I have not had this before. This is chocolate cream bun. And like, it's so soft. Oh. New dog. Doberman puppy. Mm. Hi. Hello. So cute. <laughs> People here love when you pat their dogs or like take photos of their dogs. It's, it's, like, real a, cute. it's like a flex or something. Yeah, yeah like they walk them around with they like they, clothes on. They thank you. Yeah, it's so cute. Anyway, this is fucking yum too. It's like a chocolate custard bun. Yum. Yeah. Wow, you're neat. Yeah. Vita's honestly had this every day. So good. It's the tuna mayo sushi triangle. Everyone loves it. He's gone fully rogue. Protein jelly. It's only got five grams, so. A low carb jelly drink containing protein to improve your physical condition and support your daily exercise. Get into it. Surely it's strawberry. Oh, it looks creamy. That is yum. What is it? It's strawberry flavour. It's real fruity. Whoa. I can, I, it tastes healthy and it's... Like a protein yogurt 30, 33 calories. Nice. Okay, these are the coffees that we got. Vita got iced. I got cold black drip coffee. I mean, sorry, hot black drip coffee. Taste the flavors in that card. Yep. <laughs> okay, we've arrived to Team Labs, which is the thing I was telling you guys about. It's getting hotter today, to be honest. Don't you reckon? So you have to book your tickets online because it books out, and apparently, life hack if you come at 9 a.m. and you're the first people in there, then it's less busy. So this is probably the most iconic room, and it's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so you do the water part first, which is what we just did, and now we're doing the garden section. And this is probably my favourite so far, I reckon. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Bamboo thing. They remind me of like eggs. It's so hot. There's no aircon in here. And you have to 
wait for your turn. So we've been waiting here for like five minutes, do you reckon? Five minutes out there, five minutes in here. Yeah. And I think now they let us all in and we just sit down for a bit, so. We just got to Takashita Street and we're really hungry. Run down on Team Labs. I mean, it was exactly what it looks like. Yeah. You ever have to take your shoes off and smell like feet? It did. It, like, you can't smell it on the TikTok videos. They look really cool. Like, it does smell like feet. So the iconic crack place is on the corner, the line was really long. So we kept walking and we found this one, literally right there. Opposite the Essex store, opposite Wego. And it's so young. I'm finally gonna get one of the strawberries on the set. You know the ones with all the sugar around them? Toffee, sh toffee I've been, strawberries. I've been waiting to get one for this whole trip. It's hard as. On the set, crack. Yeah. But like half it's of it. really yum. The grape now? Whoa. Oh yeah, so literally just walked like directly across from Takashi District and there's some really nice shops like heaps of cool sneakers and stuff it's more yeah it's like a lot more streetwearish around here whoa yeah but I also like this this store over there okay, I found this blazer originally a thousand dollars and still has the tags and it's like 380 bucks to try and find a vegan ramen place and I found one and we're at it now it's in Omoto Sando yeah or Santo I don't know Omoto Sando which is where shopping is in Shinjuku that's the coolest place so far yeah. we've ordered so yeah. I'll show you it's so good guys <laughs> It's like, so good is it good. vegan? Yeah. We're finally back at the hotel. These are my snacks of choice tonight. So this is, it basically tastes like blue Powerade, but um, yeah, it's just like a, what's it called? Electrolyte drink. So that's yum. It tastes like a lemonade ice block kind of. These I hadn't had before. They were just in the 7-Eleven. And they are so yum, guys. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe like tiny teddies kind of, but they... Like maybe they have like chocolate through them or something. I don't know. They're so yum. And then these are these little mochi cream things, which I've already had once or twice. And they're really good. So that's my snack haul. I'm going to have a shower, take my makeup off, hop into bed and eat it. Look at this. Little fish thing. Dolphin shark. Before I go to bed, I want to show yeah, my hair because I'm about to take a shower. I want to show you what I got today or like what I've gotten so far in terms of shopping. We went to Onitsuka Tiger and I got two pairs of sneakers. I'm not sure if I showed you guys yesterday. This is one of the pairs. Um, they're like these fluffy black ones, but they're so comfy. Like they don't have laces. I usually have such a struggle finding shoes that don't give me blisters um and i have to wear socks and like let them wear in these i've been walking around in them for all of today and half of yesterday and they are insanely comfortable like i they're amazing and both of these are actually for a shoot for remy um these ones are sick and then the find of the trip so far is this blazer that I got. So Brand Collect is a secondhand, like, like a vintage secondhand, I guess like designer slash like hiring. This blazer, like we're about to leave the store and I looked on the rack. I always look in the guys section for the jackets especially, although most of the store was guys, to be honest. Maybe there was girls upstairs, I don't know. But um... 
I looked on this rack and I was like, oh my God, this blazer is so cool. And it looked massive. And I was like, surely I'm trying that. And then I looked at the price and it said, whatever it is and like a, whatever it was in a, Australian was a thousand dollars on the tag up here. So it's from the brand Well Done and I grabbed this tag, 97,800. So that translates to about a thousand dollars Australian, right? So I've looked and gone, fuck, like that is expensive. And then I've had a look at the actual tag from Brand Collect and it was like 300 bucks. What's happened, not sure. Also, I've just realized this is only a size medium, but it's like so oversized. So all of their blazers and coats, I had to look online because they sell on Farfetch and um, Essence. And they're so cool. They do like a long coat as well in the same kind of cut. But this blazer, like, please, that is so fucking cool. The big shoulder, like, you obviously just gonna have to get the vibe because I look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards, but it's so cool. And then Vic tried it on as well and he looked really good in it. And like the tag's still attached, so it hasn't like been worn. Like it literally looks brand new. Um yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Cool with the pan, cool with the dress underneath. So that was definitely the find of the day, in my opinion. I'm gonna have a shower, hop into bed and eat it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Late. We have had a very late start to the day, haven't we? Yeah. We are now about to go and get breakfast in Ginza. We're going back to Bill's. We went for dinner the other night, but they're most popular for their breakfast. But we've just come to Lalabo we saw it the other day when we were walking and we thought let's stop while there's no line and get a little fragrance, get a little fragrance from months of the trip so that's what we're doing now this is Vete's fit check very nice but he's worried he's going to be too hot and then this is my fit check we secured the goods we got one each it was hard to choose though eh it's pretty expensive yeah they're pretty expensive. I think they're kind of known to be like a more expensive fragrance. Yeah, right. But um, yeah, we chose one each and then it's gonna remind us of the trip. And funnily enough, we smelt one that reminded us of Italy because it smells like one of the fragrances that we bought there. So we did that, which I'm so glad we did because we got engaged and then we can remember the trip even more. So yeah, so cute. You get to personalize it a little bit. Oh yeah, you get to, um, do your label, like write your name on the label, which is cool. And like choose a little emoji. But yeah, let's find some brekkie. I'm starving. All right, Bills, look at this avo toast. It's delicious. We're still waiting for the pancakes. But let's try this together. It's even got chili flakes on it. Yum. Oh wait, I need to do the lime. <laughs> These are the ricotta pancakes, ricotta banana pancakes. The finest here at Bells. They look so good. These look so good. <laughs> they are the softest pancakes that you've ever had. What the hell? We're in Zara and I found so many things in a size XL, but I've yet to try them. Also, these rings. Very cool. The Zara is three levels. We've done two. First one was real good. That one was like pretty dry. And then this is the last female one, and then there's one for men's. But so good so far, and I've got like 10 pairs of earrings. This is what she does. Every time she like sees something hanging up in between the clothes, she, the jewelry like, she, is she cool. says, Oh, I'll just put it in. She got like 20 pieces of freaking jewelry. Well, I might not buy all of them, but it's just nice to have the option. <laughs> 
happened again. But like, it's all really cool. You can't blame me. So this top's cute. Hello everyone. So we're on our way. We're on our way. I sound like American. Something's gone wrong. We're on our way to dinner and we're not sure if it's going to rain or not. So we've got umbrellas called the Apollo. Apollo? It's a Greek restaurant and it looks really popular. So I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you when we get there. Here we are. Pretty cool. Wow. Okay, hello everyone. I didn't really vlog yesterday, but it's our last full day in Japan today, and we've come to Nakamise, which is in Asakusa. Asakusa. And this is like a little market. We're hoping to get the um, matcha cake ice cream thing and some strawberry mochi and just like cute little food things and then we're gonna do some more shopping at another location but this is what it looks like here this is this big gate it's iconic and now we're gonna go in it's like busy but not overwhelming yeah oh, the snow is so young what is that? <laughs> Uh, should we get two? Yeah. Whoa, what is that? Mm. Must be that red bean stuff. Okay, we don't know what these are, but heaps of people were getting them, so we decided we needed them as well. They kind of smell, they smell like something I've had before, but I can't. Sweet. That's so yum. Really? What is it? Is it mochi? It's a bit chewy like mochi, but they're hot. It almost tastes like popcorn. So we'll probably just get one. These are the little mochi things that we want of ages. They had red bean ones and also custard filled ones. So we obviously got the custard full. Yeah, the red bean ones are like pink. I thought they were like strawberry flavor. Yeah, they're really heavy, eh? Okay, so I've been getting the melon breads, but they haven't had anything in them. Is that melon bread? Yeah, so melon bread is like this sugary bread in the shape of a melon, but this one has cream and strawberries in it, so Yum. let's try. Mm. What does it taste like? Oh, a sweet cream bun and strawberries. Hello everyone. I actually feel like I haven't spoken too much today. Oh, you just stood on my fucking toe. Babe, we've got to finish the vlog. Good evening. <laughs> we ended up doing some shopping and then, well, please. We did Good shop. Evening. We did Let's some shopping here. and then we went to the Park Hyatt to the New York bar at the top and we had dinner and listen to live music and that was actually one of the highlights I reckon eh? It's fucking beautiful. The view was in insane. Um, it's not cheap, you have to pay like a $30 yeah. fee each, each to listen to the music which makes sense like it's live music is really nice. If you are coming to Tokyo I feel like that's something that you should do because it was amazing. And you can make bookings there. You can make bookings mm. for dinner but if you want to sit in the bar it's like first come first serve. But and the line got fucking long. Yeah when we got there we, did, we had to wait like five minutes there was like two people in front of us when we left literally the line was like 20 people so make sure you go early we went at like 7 45 8 yeah. so make sure you get there early so yeah this is my dress is like pulled down um this is us signing off thanks for watching our tokyo vlog we really enjoyed tokyo it was a fun time definitely different to most of the places we usually go away well not yeah. usually but like other places that we've been in the world it was young yeah it was we love it yeah we definitely had fun but we are ready to go home